You've never flipped them? No. It sucks. Huh? It sucks. Yeah. It Flipping tires bad. sucks. No, it sucks. Hey guys, welcome back to Stall Racing Vlog, home of the jank tent rigging to ward off rain. Uh, as you can see, still pretty wet out there, but uh, that's out of the forecast now. Uh, just waiting for the track to dry, but it poured yesterday. Like there's tons of water around the track. Uh, so dad actually rigged this up to keep water from pooling. Uh, we got myself and dad going out today. Uh, we have very limited practice. Uh, we tried to come out yesterday, got two sessions in. Um, and then otherwise, we're gonna skip today's practice because it's gonna be in the wet. So we'll go right into qualifying. We're gonna go right into qualifying. How are your what are your thoughts on that? I'm gonna put it on the pole. There you go. Yeah. I've never felt so confident in a statement dad's made. I will be genuinely let down. So yep, that's what we got on tap, guys. So we're gonna have a uh, uh we'll go qualifying, pre-final, final. So we'll have two races between the two of us for today, and it should be a fun time. Hey, the morning walk with dad. Today we're doing our bike ride. What could go wrong? The Morning Walk with Dad. I'm worse on a bike than I am a go-kart. But I wanted you to see, Indiana has turned into a tropical rainforest and we've had a monsoon and there is just water laying everywhere. As you can see, it's creeping up towards the track and last night it was even worse so the draining's helping but it's bad enough that they're telling us for the race today that if you go off they're not going to be able to get to you until after the race because there's just too much ponding so should be good it's good to be out at the go-kart track no matter what rain or shine one of the little guys that races here came by our uh, pit last night and was telling us all about uh, his racing exploits. Your name? Jarrett. Jarrett what? I'm Llewellyn. Okay, Jarrett. What number is your cart? 713. 713? Are you pretty good? I mean, if you were to ask a pro, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm good. Yeah. yeah. But you have fun? Yeah. yeah, it's fun. You take it pretty serious? Yeah, as hard as I can. Yeah? I what, you, what, what class do you race in? Um, 206 cadet. 206 cadet. How many years have you been racing? This is my first year. Yeah? First year. That's great. You always watch the stall racing vlog? Yeah, most of the time, yeah. Now, uh, dad, dad, me, yeah. I'm probably your favorite, right? Who, who then after me? Casey or Ben? Um, probably Casey. Probably Casey? Yeah. Casey's really your favorite, isn't he? You're just being nice to me. I'm too I mean, old. You, you're, you both. <laughs> oh, the go-kart track is always fun, but this week we're missing our unsung superstar. Madison is uh, not going to be here, and she's always just so supportive. I'm going to miss her. She does a great job with the camera work, and obviously from time to time she'll uh, get on camera. She does a really good job, but the most thing is she's just the truest cheerleader we've got. Just uh a great fan and great supporter and so she's a bachelorette party so we can't compete with that but anyway we'll miss her 
Todd Davis, retiring firefighter. <laughs> Whenever Stall Racing wonders what kind of tires to go with, we go to Todd. Todd, what are we running? Flick. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I actually ended up doing the first practice, first and only practice session because uh, I remembered I had new tires, so I wanted to scrub them in, and uh, I'm glad I did because, uh, I mean, it was not fun at all, right? Be scrubbing the new tires on a wet track, but. Um, I'm glad I got that out of the way because it would have been really bad in qualifying. So uh, one thing I noticed though out there, even though I was scrubbing in new tires, I just needed some more grip. Um, and the nice thing about the Burrell, and it's not specific to the Burrell, but it's just a nice little feature, uh, the bars. So I'm running the hard bar, which uh, takes away grip from the cart. I'm gonna switch over to the chrome bar just to throw a little more grip into the cart. And look at this, we got Benji and Regan. Did you make that shirt, Regan? I did. Um, we gotta talk about licensing fees. Yeah. So qualifying wrap up. I qualified uh, 15th out of 24th. Um, it's a good showing for the 34. Um, but you know, it, it was an odd thing. I didn't think I qualified that well. I expected to be back further because I tiptoed completely until the the final lap and. Uh, even then it felt like I wasn't that strong and uh, looking behind me it looks like everybody was tiptoeing uh, some guys that uh, typically are faster than me are uh, behind me so it should make for an interesting heat race I've got to uh, got to try and stick close on the start I've been allowing too big a gap and uh, and then just be a little bit confident you know after yesterday's practice I wasn't real happy because I was further off my benchmark which is Casey than I wanted to be and typically uh, try to be. And so I didn't think it was stacking up. So this 15th qualifying is a mystery. It's kind of the uh, Bermuda Triangle and I'm afraid that uh, uh, we'll try and keep the ship from sinking, I guess. I, I'm ground in reality. I don't need sunshine pumped up my stomach. <laughs> Dad just qualified 15th out of 24, which is essentially Dad getting on pole. So. <laughs> Good job, Dad. <laughs> Qualifying's over. Uh, went really well. I qualified P2 uh, right in front of my buddy, or excuse me, right in behind my buddy Rob, who got pull. Congrats, Rob. And then Amber in third. And I apologize, I don't know who is behind that. I haven't seen the, the phone yet. But uh, uh, I noticed I was a little, little bit high on gear ratio. I was on the chip a little more than I like. Uh, so I'm going to drop one tooth for the pre final. And uh, uh, should be just about perfect. Cart felt just fantastic. Um, pretty excited for the day. I just can't make any bonehead decisions. Yeah, like it seems like Lightning McQueen, they make a bunch of them, but the little, the little bad guys, no yeah. one really wants them. Yeah, but, but you do. He wanted the bad guys. <laughs> bad guys. That's awesome. Finley just got a boatload of cars from <laughs> here. I can't believe Thank you. That's a wrap on my pre-final. I started in second, didn't get a good start. I uh, fell into third. Coming up into a hairpin, second place. Amber had to, uh, so second place uh, coming up into a hairpin, kind of lost her momentum, um, kind of dodged in first place. And so I was able to capitalize on that, move into second place, uh, running there for a little bit. got a little bit interesting coming out of uh, the 70 hairpin going on to the long straight
Amber uh, was alongside me. Going into one, two, and three, we went too wide. Uh, first off, just great job to Amber. Very clean. It's not a really easy thing to do, and she just raced me super clean. Coming into the, the scoreboard hairpin, I was gonna make a move on Rob, and so he, he actually defended but the problem for Rob is that I went to the outside then when he defended to the inside and uh, was able to get a really nice exit down the straightaway. I passed Rob and I think 47 other carts did too. And uh, he got freight trained. Got a little bit interesting on the last corner, the 70 hairpin again. Um, I happened to look back and I saw this cart just come barreling in. I don't know where he came from. Didn't get into me. I don't know if it created chaos behind or not, but uh, I was able to hold on to first. Felt good, felt cart felt very good. Um, so we'll move on to the final, but I did notice after the pre-final, it's gonna be hard to see, but my header is loose. This stripped out the stud and I'm not that good at Healy coiling. And so instead of me fixing it or fixing it, uh, I'm gonna send it to my boys at Ghost Racing. They'll, they'll do the proper job. Happened to bring Ben's uh, practice motor, which he doesn't actually know. Hey, Ben, thank you for the practice motor. What? I'm running your practice motor. Why? Header. It doesn't matter, just thank you. And uh, so I'm running Ben's practice motor here and uh, gonna go out for the final and see what I can make of it. Pre-final wrap up. We didn't get the video camera on. There was actually probably some pretty good stuff early on. Uh, got bumped in between one and two and, and made it through that. Had a little shallow entry into two that cost me and then going into three, there was a big time scrum up ahead and uh, I just hit the brakes too hard and around I went looking at a lot of cars coming at me. And uh, so that was uh, not good. Kudos to all the guys that got by me. Um, but by the time I got back going, I think I was probably the last car running but there were a lot of cars taken out. So ended up 16th and we'll see where we go with the final. Cart felt really good after I got going. I was faster than practice um, yesterday by oh, more than half a second. So um, that was really good. Um, really pleased. We'll see how things go here in the final. Kind of optimistic. Grandpa, go fast. Yeah. I'm gonna try. Can you tell him good luck? Thank you. Thank you. Did you give him a high five. It's hard to do with the lightning in your hand. Look, we're cheap, man. We're cheap and we try to. I've never flipped them, so. You've never flipped them? No. It sucks. Huh? It sucks. Yeah. Flipping tires good. sucks. No, it sucks. <laughs> But it's a good thing. I mean, you save your tires. I can still flip them this week, right? Yeah. You know what? Dad's doing the flipping, so you could bring them over here now. Yeah. Okay, so I uh, started my final in first, and the outside row got a really good start. Really good. Two people got by me, fell into third.
kind of settled in there for a while and um, kind of something weird happened and I haven't seen the video so I don't know exactly how it played out but my recollection of it is Amber was leading and then Logan was in second coming over the what we call the ski jump uh, Logan's front bumper hooked Amber's rear bumper and so that kind of caught me off guard and I ended up tapping the bumper of Logan and that combination sent Logan off. That really sucks because I mean he was he had started kind of far back uh, in the pre-final so he had made his way forward for that final I don't know from my memory of it it just seemed like it was a racing incident but you know maybe the video proved me wrong and I was I was a hundred percent at fault I mean I definitely had fault because I tapped his bumper so yeah that sucks um, so after that I moved into second and uh, just was a little bit afraid of the not a little bit I was very afraid of the people behind uh, fighting with me and, and pushing me backwards so I decided I was going to uh, uh, go for the lead past Amber and uh, with the help of Rob behind me I was fast in like certain portion, portions of the track, but just really bad in the long straight, the corners leading in the long straightaways. So I knew going into that corner, the last corner, 70 hairpin, I knew I was in trouble. And uh, they just smoked me. Both, you know, Ryan pushed Rob and uh, they both just flew by me. It was not even a problem for him. And I ended up finishing third. No complaints though. I'm getting the wrap it up signal over here. Uh, they're flashing the red light, is that what they do? Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, anyways, finished third. It's a good weekend, or it's a good race, really. Um, wanted that first, obviously, but I will take a third. Not, not complaining. And, uh, you know, got another race tomorrow. I'm having my post-race cigar. Kind of one of the enjoyable things. Um, started uh, 16th in the final. I think I finished 15th. Uh, had some fast guys uh, behind me and some of them caught me and some of them didn't so I felt real good about things After the first three or four laps, uh, settled into a pace and just uh, had a couple back and forth.
guy in front of me get off track and get some air and I was able to get by him but he got back by me and then pulled away and I wish I could have stuck a little bit closer to him but I couldn't they told me it was uh, 14th or 15th I can't remember which and so we'll take it you know the the lap times continued to get better um, much better than practice yesterday and I'm still off of the leaders by about a second but uh, I think things are getting a little better so hopefully we'll uh, we'll continue to see some uh, some improvements and you know maybe we'll get a top 10 at some point I don't know we'll see <laughs> 